Welcome back gamers to Gamer Guide channel. I am Roland in Robocraft and Gamer Guide and today we're going to be looking at the Argobot build. Something I had put out a while ago just to kind of present to you guys and let you build your own. But I figured it'd be fun to go ahead and put out a step by step for people who wanted to follow that. Uh, this does use a lot of prism plating. It is a great little bot. It has an especially high robo ranking which makes it particularly interesting. They changed the game not too long ago to uh, make it so your performance in the game affects your score more so than your robo ranking. However, and here's the big caveat, robo ranking affects how much RP you make still. So with a robot like this at 78,968 ranking versus like a healer at 38, you're just going to earn a whole lot more RP per game uh, for a good performance. So I use this a lot to uh, get a million plus um, RP in each game. And uh, as you see here, I was able to get 1,100,000 RP uh, just through a normal game, nothing really special. So I figured you guys would like to see this guy. Uh, those three big TX-1 guns makes it uh, the highest damage output of any of my Tier 10 vehicles. Uh, it uses also three regular guns, so it's like equivalent of having nine guns uh, firing all at the same time. Has a little bit of redundancy and movement and gets up to 181 miles per hour. So fast, little hovercraft, and a lot of fun to play. All the parts you're going to need are listed here in the garage. And if you already have your parts together, please take this time to give this video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. And also leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys might like to see for a future build. I have seen some of your comments and uh, keeping them in mind. Uh, I have a lot of builds too I want to put out. And there's a couple builds... Uh, that I might just show off again in kind of a uh, development uh, showcase style again instead of doing a build on them. Because the game's going to be changing again soon, uh, it sounds like, from what I read from Mark, to make electroplates and rails a little less potent uh, than they used to be. Which I'm not entirely on board with. Um, probably put out another separate video on that, so you can be looking for that. Just a heads up on it, though. That's probably coming down the uh, pipes soon and will be coming to us all in a future patch. Anyway guys, let's get started on this build. Alright, the first thing we should do is name our bot. You can find the special characters on Google if you don't know what the shortcut is. We're going to put our first cube down here at the tip of the arrow. And these are all going to be prisms to start with. And we're going to make a grid uh, going all the same direction here on the floor. Follow the pattern I'm using here. You can kind of use the arrow uh, as a guide here for where you need to put your parts. What we're doing is putting together a prism plate bottom on this one, which will help keep our craft together a little bit easier. And uh, so come all the way down here to the end of the arrow, and we'll kind of make a little arrow the other direction with, with it. And now we're going to go to the other side, and we're going to go ahead and fill in the missing areas here with some of these prisms. Now be careful, there's a couple places here where we're not going to be putting a prism or we'll be changing something. So. Um, keep keep an eye out for that, like a couple deletions there. We change that uh, to an inner, that one that's faced the other direction. So just uh, make sure you put that as an inner and not a prism. And then we're just filling in the rest of these with uh, more prisms going the other direction. And this will give us a solid bottom to start with. Gonna add a couple more here at the end. And that's what we should have so far. All right, and now we're gonna start working on the outside. I'm gonna grab some inners and we'll run these all the way down the side here. And then we're gonna extend out with a couple of prisms and some more inners down the side here. And we're just kind of shaping out the front on the bottom going to have it scoop up a little bit on the underside so if we do run into something we uh, go up over it. So these will all be up facing. This is a temporary block there on top. Just put the prisms in the right order. This is a reverse build so a couple of things might look a little quirky in the video. But just take your time and you can get it to look the same way pretty easily as I'm showing you here. Go ahead and put some tetra here to uh, kind of round out the front on the bottom. And now let's go work here on the back again. I'm going to run some more of these inners down the side. And then connect them up here to the rest of the inners using a prism. 
And then here on the back as well, I'm going to use another inner face the other direction. Now these are uh, solid cubes, these three back here. Well, the one in the middle is at least. The other two are uh, inners, and then you got prisms and some tetra here linking up the back. And that's our finished uh, bottom layer for the most part. We'll have to add a couple of uh, arrow rods later on. But we're going to get started on the second layer, the second layer now. These are just tent blocks on the back to uh, make these a little easier to face the right direction. So we'll go ahead and place our inners with the chip corner faced in. And then you can just strip off those blocks on the back when you're done with that. All right, and then here on the corners, we'll go ahead and put some prisms and continue to run the frame down the sides. Now on the second layer, we're just gonna kind of be making the exterior frame first, and then we're gonna use some white tent blocks uh, to go and fill in the middle and make it a little easier for us to do um, a second layer of prism plating right above the first. So the first layer is kind of designed to give us some blast protection from plasma bombs and stuff that uh, might hit the ground by us. And uh, the second layer kind of helps hold the frame and the support for where our pilot's actually going to be sitting uh, later on. All right, those were just temps there to get that uh, one prism to face the right direction, but you can get that prism faced that way in any other way you so choose as you get it to look the same way. Now we're going to go and fill in the middle here with all these white tier 1 temporary blocks. This will eventually be removed. We're just putting them in there now so when we go through the second layer of prism plating, which will be with the uh, flat side up, it's a little bit easier to do. But as long as uh, you take the time and get a second layer of prism plating done with the flat side faced up, uh, you're good. You don't necessarily have to use this technique if you don't want to. I just think it's easy to uh, show on video. Okay, so now that we got this all filled in, uh, let's go ahead and we'll uh, go to the other side here and start by removing some of the uh, cubes and then putting in some of the uh, tier 10 prisms. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Basically, every other cube in kind of a grib fashion we're going to pull out and leave the ones in between there. And then we'll go ahead and uh, after we get these all pulled out, we'll put in our prisms. And we're gonna do them all the same direction on these holes. So these are all gonna be uh, with the flat side face that direction to the back. And then we'll turn around and remove the rest of the white cubes and put uh, the prisms facing the other way to connect them. All right, there we go, it's done. So that's what you should have. We just, uh, every other one of the white blocks is now a tier 10 prism. So let's pull out the rest of the white blocks. all the way up here to the front. Great. Now we're gonna have to do a little bit of uh, finagling here at the front just to kind of fill in a couple of those missing uh, prisms we need here. So put some here and then get rid of those and uh, same here. And we'll get rid of that. All right, so next we need to, uh, let's go ahead and fill in the other side. So we'll come back down here and uh, we'll face these prisms going the other way now. So basically the flat side against the flat side using prisms that are tier 10 and you'll get the uh, completed prism plating effect. Now we're leaving that space there open. So what is that, the uh, sixth row? On the sixth row, 
we're going to go ahead and uh, leave those two divots. That's where we're going to put some arrow rods eventually. But everything else here we're going to be filling in. All right, so that's what we should have right now. And let's go ahead and fill in the back now. We're using another uh, solid cube there in the middle. And we'll use two more either side of it. And then we're gonna use two inners. And then a tetra between them. And that's what we should have at the end here. We're gonna add a little bit more here to the back too, just kind of to round it out, make it look nice. We'll put these on sideways. We'll see why later. All right, and let's go ahead and put our arrow rods here in the bottom. In the spaces we have. And then here in those missing uh, prisms from earlier. That's going to be where we mount our uh, large TX-1 guns later on. And we'll go ahead and run some inners all the way down here on the top. You notice it's kind of a block back from where those arrow rods were put. If you're just trying to get a handle on where the first one is supposed to be. And then uh, in between these we're going to be putting some more uh, prisms in a, the same kind of fashion as prism plating, basically. This is eventually where the uh, pilot will sit. So we're going to create an area for some of our hovers. So we got these corners filled in. Let's go ahead and come back up here and we're going to create a little more armor here around our mount points. Now we're not actually connecting this part here to the rest of the top. Just basically, it is connected by the prism planning below it. But for the top armor, we're trying to leave a little bit of spacing. And that's going to be because of uh, how we want the vehicle to break apart when somebody aims for our hovers. At least the front two exposed ones. We don't want them to uh, transfer right to the back without having to go through the blocks below it. We are going to armor up the front a little bit more. Just in the core, really. And we'll bring this kind of rounded look back here on the sides. That's going to be where we put our front hover in between those two prisms. And then we'll put another set of hovers right back here between these two. And this is going to be where we mount our uh, tier 10 engine, our jet engine. And then we'll go ahead and put another spice here for our rear mount tier 10 hovers. Let's go ahead and run these uh, prisms down the side here. We're using some more tent blocks here basically to make a spot for us to uh, create a shield for these hovers. We don't want them to get blasted off by uh, enemy bombers. So since we're not really using any electroplate on this design, we're just going to use like a little bit of blocks here and there to uh, help make us a little hardier from air attacks. Alright, then we're just going to kind of fill these in here. 
by uh, using prisms on either side there to connect this all together and keep it light, nice and light too is the whole idea and why we're using some more of these uh, prisms instead of uh, inners and uh, cubes. We are going to use a cube there though just for the extra mount support and uh, we need a little bit of an extension too for our uh, rear gun. Alright, so let's put a cube there and we're going to go ahead and throw our uh, speedometer somewhere in between these two lines of blocks. It doesn't really matter where inside, uh, but somewhere in that little divot there, go ahead and drop one of those in. Or if you prefer an altimeter, I guess you could do that too, but the uh, speedometer I find more useful. Of course, if you don't have that part, don't worry about it. It's not essential. You can use a flag or anything else you want to add to the vehicle. We'll go ahead and run another line of these inners all the way down to this uh, cube we put at the back and uh, beyond it just one and then we're going to put another uh, prism right here connecting those two inners. Alright, let's go ahead and work on the front now. These are just uh, some temps so we can place this one one prism on the back and we'll just get rid of those and then we're going to kind of round out that look and we'll put some tetra here and uh, prism right here between them all right we're going to use these white blocks again as temps to create our front uh, hover guards so again left and uh, front and back side we're just going to be putting more of these prisms and then get rid of the temps and fill in all the inside again with uh, prisms in kind of that woven fashion. And then uh, here on the ends too we'll put some tetra. Oh, there we go. And then one on the end here. All right, we're gonna run another row here, all the way down. You, again, using uh, inners. And then we're changing it up a little bit here in the back. Gonna use a couple of uh, tetra and some prisms. And here at the front, we're again using uh, those slope pieces to give kind of that smooth contour coming up to the top. Now here we're going to create another uh, prism plating like uh, grid, just keeping everything together and keeping it nice and light. So those are just temps, we're just pulling these out again. We're going to use an inner and then uh, a prism behind it and uh, one here on the other side. And we're also going to fill in these against the uh, flat side of the other prisms. And then one more right here, filling in that hole. And we'll just go ahead and put that prism in there too. And then uh, kind of create that smooth look on the front with uh, a couple of tetra and a prism. And that's uh, getting close to being finished here now with the body. Still got a couple arrow rods here to place. I'm going to drop our driver's seat in now too. This goes right here in the uh, opening. And then right behind it we're going to put our uh, short uh, tier 10 arrow rod behind it and then uh, our tier 10 thruster in the back and that will plug in all our tier 10 hover blades in the slots here going all the way up to the front with uh, four of them being covered 
and two open. And now we got to get our front guns on. Put one on the bottom here. And these are all going sideways because I just found that they fit better that way originally. So if you got to turn them sideways uh, to get them all to fit, go ahead and do that. doesn't really matter when you play the game though because they face whatever direction you're looking. And we put our TX-1 guns on, one on the back and two here on the front. I turned off my mirror mode so I'll have to manually put it here on the other side. But that will do it guys. That finishes up this build. Hope you guys enjoy it and it gets you lots of RP out there. Please subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Later guys.